वेलकम ऑल एंड नमस्ते दिस इज डॉक्टर सुनील तुम्हारा आई एम ए न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इन फ्रिस्को टेक्सिस आई एम ऑल्सो ए सर्टिफाइड योगा टीचर टूडे आवर गोल इज टू डिस्कस अबाउट pranayams and its significance in the current times i will give you some scientific basis how the breathing works how oxygenation happens how the airways function and how this pranayams the technology of yoga one of the limb is pranayam helps in achieving that uh, breathing control and cleansing the br- breathing so everything that i am going to talk has a scientific basis and uh, i derive benefits from the practice of this pranayams on a daily basis and uh, i want you to derive the same benefit there is no dogma here there is no presumption here it's pure science and technology and it is time tested for the from the time immemorial and i would recommend all of you to go and research on your own the various scientific papers that are published on yoga and prana and one of the limb of yoga obviously is pranayams and the scientific benefits of the um, scientific basis of yoga and its benefits okay uh, first disclaimer uh, although i am teaching this one for instructional information purpose you need to use your own judgment uh, you know your body and your physician knows you so if you have any question do your due diligence consult your physician and i am not providing here any individual recommendation it is just for educational information purpose only and as a part of seva a service to society i am doing this one i am not providing any individual medical recommendation or any professional recommendation it's purely educational purpose only for general public so make sure you follow your physician's advice understand your body understand your limitations and do only what your body permits so do everything at your own risk so today is uh, may 2nd the time now is 5:41 pm before we start about pranayams a uh, few things to keep in mind always sit straight spine erect head straight a line drawn from head to bottom of your spine should be a straight line sit in a comfortable posture all throughout just want to make sure the audio is uh, clear and you can follow uh, on the screen there i'm just going to give some basic instructions so these are the four things that we are going to talk today the first one we will talk is uh, anilom vilom the second one we'll talk is uh, bastrika the third one we'll talk is uh, kapalabhati and the fourth one is uh, brahmari uh, do understand uh, that all of these has its own benefits and anilom vilom bastrika kapalabhati brahmari all of them have their own benefits we will there are many pranayams we'll only talk about these four and i will give you just an instruction of it and i'll recommend how long you need to do each of them most often this should not take more than 10 15 minutes in a day and i'll also provide you some scientific basis not going over all the scientific literature that is available there i'll provide you one as a sample you investigate on your own so this is a paper published in uh, journal of ayurveda and integrative medicine uh, dated uh, march 2009 2019 effects of yogic breath regulation a narrative review of scientific evidence by upper saoji et al and uh, the reference is here i'm just going to highlight it let me get my marker here okay so here is your he 
here is your reference so use that and I'll also go a little bit down so pranayam a breath regulation is controlled an essential component of yoga practice uh, in this one the authors uh, use some keywords and found 1400 references and uh, what they say here the preponderance of literature points to beneficial effects of yoga breathing techniques in both physiological and clinical setups advantageous effects of yogic breathing on neurocognitive new psychophysiological respiratory biochemical and metabolic functions in healthy individuals were elicited so go and read understand a little bit more the scientific basis and the, the benefits obviously the literature is not still evolving the lack of resources and uh, lack of interest particularly in the western part of the world um, we don't have much scientific evidence it is time tested it is time immemorial the technology was discovered many many thousands of years ago and perfected over a period of time yogis in Bharat which is uh, India they are practicing it for a long period of time for health and general well-being and besides uh, spiritual benefits so I will put this one uh, here and you go and research on your own and towards the end I will go over some uh, things about the lungs and how the breathing works how oxygenation works how air enters into the lungs and uh, how COVID is affecting and how pranayams can help so we'll go over pranayams and then we'll see this one so I'll put this one to the end so without any delay let's go over some of the benefits of the some of the techniques uh, we will uh, go over so before you do again sit in comfortable position we'll go quick so this is a position I'm going to sit in it's comfortable for me put in sit in whatever comfortable position take one of the mudra uh, Google or go to YouTube uh, to learn about mudras this is a mudra I'm going to take okay and the first one we are going to do is anilom vilom which is alternate nostril breathing and uh, it gives uh, some idea about how your nostrils and airway is there so it will be a slow breathing in breathing out alternating with nostrils so to get a sense of how your respiratory tract is before you do any rapid deep breathing uh, patterns you need to know how it is with a slow process and once you get that sense then you can go a little bit deeper so put it here and take this uh, thumb to close your right nostril take this finger and to close your left nostril so essentially you're using fourth finger to close your left nostril thumb to take your right nostril so we'll start with breathe in close the right nostril slow expiration breathe in I did one cycle so I would recommend you do for a minute multiples of these cycles and few things to remember when you do this make sure you sit straight and if you close your eyes and focus on your breathing your attention span your mental clarity mental focus will also improve so good to keep eyes closed but during this practice I am going to keep eyes open and close depending on how I need to instruct but you can actually close your eyes unless you are observing me the other thing you want to remember when you take a deep breath in you hold it for five to ten seconds and then switch to a other side you don't you only switch after taking breathe in so when you hold the breath in that's called kumbakam hold it there five to ten seconds depending on your uh, body uh, and, pra uh, and practice so everything comes with practice the sadhana which is called practice the second one we are going to do is called uh, bastrika which is essentially a rapid breathing in and breathing in and breathing out and it's a, 
it's deep. We initially start slow and then we'll escalate it to faster and faster. But the key is the depth, not the speed. It's a depth. So, okay. So it goes like this. As you're taking in, breathe in, breathe out. So do it at least one for one minute, take some rest. If you feel dizzy, lay down, take some rest and then start. And then we will do what is referred to as Kapalabhati, which is essentially cleansing the Kapala skull, the sinuses. So here the inspiration, inhalation is passive expression is active okay keys active exp expression passive inhalation it should happen by itself okay only thing you are working on is pushing the air out the inhalation happens by itself okay and if you prefer close your eyes Do it for one minute. As you're doing it, the air is going into the sinuses, cleansing it. So your ethmoid sinus, your sphenoid sinus, mastoid sinus, maxillary, frontal sinuses, all these air-filled cavities in your skull get the air. And uh, as you're doing that, they're also getting cleansed. So that is very important. They are a part of your respiratory system. If you accumulate and uh, block the outlets of the sinuses, you get sinusitis, which may be acute and may become chronic. Simple techniques like this help you keep healthy. The last one we will do is called Brahmari. Here you are going to create vibrations in the skull as uh, your, you take a breath in and close your ears with your thumbs and close your eyes with your two fingers, the second and third. Don't put pressure, just close. And then using your fourth finger, you slightly close your nostril, slightly. And then you get the air out, exhalation. If you do that, since it is coming, the air is coming out under some resistance, you create some vibration. And that causes all the vibrations in the skull. And it will help to detach any uh, mucus that is plugged up, plugging up. It will get detached. And it helps to cleanse uh, your statin tube as well. And I believe it should help with your uh, dizziness and any vestibular pathology, especially if you have any otoliths that need to be detached. Uh, it, these vibrations help there. Uh, ENT docs sometimes use tools uh, to vibrate the mastoid process if there is any blockages or if there is any otoliths in your uh, canals, semicircular canals, they use these tools. And this is probably the natural tool you have to potentially do very similar thing. Whether it works or not, you probably have to try it and see. I believe it will work. Uh, if it doesn't, certainly see your doctor. But again, everything do at your own risk. So here is a technique.
So as you are doing it, you are also saying mm, and the air is trying to go out and you're pushing the tummy in forcibly deeper and deeper. And as you're saying mm, this air and this vibration of vocal cords is creating vibration skull, which you can really feel it. So these are the four pranayams I would recommend you do on a daily basis. It takes probably 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, if you do it multiple times, that's the best uh, preventive measure uh, for COVID. If you have mild COVID or any respiratory infection, it may be even have therapeutic value. And now I will just go over briefly about this uh, pulmonary system. As uh, you can see the screen, Okay, so this is a airway. So this is your trachea. So from outside, the air is coming through this tube, passing through vocal cords, pharynx and vocal cords, and the trachea. And from trachea, it is coming to your bronchi, bronchioles, and then ultimately, Ultimately, all this is uh, going into what we call alveoli. The alveoli are small uh, channels or balloon-like structures at the tip of the bronchi. And these are the air exchange surfaces. If you lay this alveoli on a surface, the, both lungs have enough alveoli that will stretch and cover an entire football field. And that's the oxygen exchange area. And carbon dioxide ex exchanges into the air of the lung side and oxygen exchanges in towards the blood side at that alveolar membrane. And the goal is to get the air there. You want to get that air, which has around 30% oxygen, into that area so that exchange happens. If you can't get the air into that area, there is no exchange. Doesn't matter how concentrated oxygen you can give, there is no exchange going to happen because it is going to go into what we call dead space, the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, no exchange there. It just goes there, comes out. A shallow breather's breathing does that. A deep breather's breathing gets the air into alveoli, and that's key. So you want to cleanse your sinuses, you want to clean your tubes, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and then want to get the air into deeper most parts of the lung, the alveoli, so that exchange happens. So that's the goal of this pranayama, the yogic breathing techniques. There are multiple of them. I just start four. I believe these are the fundamental which can help everyone. So uh, if you have, if you have any questions, suddenly I can answer. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will end this with a Shanti Mantra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashit Dukha Bhag Bhavet I owe all this knowledge to my gurus, my teachers. Um, uh, they are I learned some of these gurus are purely online, and some of these gurus, I saw them physically, some of them only are on the internet, but I owe all my knowledge uh, to them. Danyavad.